What's going on guys, Skogi here, back with a brand new video for you all again. Back with the Touring Cart Championship here at Grand Prix New York. This is my second heat, Heat C2, where the order was flipped from the qualifying position of the first heat, so I'm starting back in 7th after qualifying 3rd, out of 9 people. Alright guys, this is C2, this is now the reverse grid order of what we did before. This was always a little crazy. Uh, make sure we're giving each other room, right? We're being patient with our passes. I don't want to have to make any penalties here. Same rules as before with the pit stops. One pit stop required. You have to do it anytime other than the first or last lap. If you have not pitted with two to go, I'm going to show you two cross flags to let you know that you have to pit, okay? We got it? All the other rules were just explained by Alec. We're going to do the same things before. Speed two, speed four, the final quarter. We ready? I cut out the outlaw up here so we could just get right into it, but of course, reverse grid lap one, things get interesting pretty quickly. I was trying to stay right on the person in front of me, make sure that I could stay competitive and be right there, but there was a crash in front of me anyway. I ended up making up two spots right off the bat. There's another driver trying to poke in on my inside on the speed two. I end up like getting a crazy uh, bump forward, not bump, but like just a lurched forward really hard when he turned up four, but it wasn't enough. That driver managed to make it past me. Decided to help push him through a little bit here, and then decided to go back to the other driver and follow him there on that side. It's really just sometimes pick a driver, follow him through when they're side by side. You can usually make a pass when drivers are side by side, but from crazy lap one, I go P7 all the way to P3. Um, there's a pretty decent gap now between uh, P1 and 2 and me, so I've got some ground to try to make up, but I'm pretty confident I can do it. I won my last heat fairly comfortably, and nobody's made any pit stops yet, so that was a great lap one. I really could not have asked for anything better. Um, I'm already back up to where I qualified, basically, where I started the last heat, so I figured if this is where I was basically pretty much on lap two of last race, I should be able to finish fairly close to where I was. And while I was in a good position, I was a little stuck because I didn't know what to do about pitting. I didn't think it made sense to pit early this time because if I pit right behind the one and two people who were definitely pitting, I would be quite a few seconds behind them. So I was gonna try to stay out on this lap, but something a little bit unexpected happened. Going through this turn, I get caught up on the cart behind me, and I just get spun right into the pits. Um, I decided to just try to back into the pits. I figured maybe I could lose less time than if I just shot right back out. I don't think it really helped me much. He started my timer a little bit early from when I was all the way in. Like, he started it pretty much right when he could tell that I was going into the pits, and that was my intention, uh, which definitely did help, but I still lost a good seven eight seconds off of that spin out so that really sucked and for some reason the penalty got redacted from the person who spun me out i don't know why i i guess they deemed it was my fault after they reviewed footage but i'm not really sure why that would be deemed my fault i'm not worried about it i'm not gonna like appeal the appeal and try to get the penalty upheld because i i don't know i mean Maybe if I had done absolutely terrible, I would have been more upset about it, but I just didn't think that made a ton of sense to try to make an enemy in the championship off of something like that. I just wanted to race my hardest, and if they thought it was my fault off of whatever they watched, they can think that, because, I, I mean, I don't know, maybe it was my fault. I guess I, I turned back a little aggressively, but that was my normal racing line the entire time, and I was hooked up the whole time. But um, after the next set of pit stops there, I was right back into the fight. Uh, this guy doing some <laughs> jerking forward, he was able to actually get the spot on me doing that, which kind of surprised me. And then I ran right into his bumper and killed my momentum. But I was staying right on him, and it seemed like I was just taking all the corners. Not much better, but maybe like a tire width um, more inside than him, and it was just my cart was sticking better. I was pretty confident that with how much more time was left in the race, I would be able to get by him too. But I didn't know how far the leaders were at this point because I knew that I had just been held up a little bit. So I wasn't ready to be very patient, especially knowing that we were both already pitted 
he could potentially block me the entire rest of the race if I wasn't quick about getting by him. But two more positions in the pit there, and I realize that that is at least four people that I have passed. I've made my way back halfway through the field, and no matter what, I'm already finishing better than I started this race. Like, I've already kind of succeeded in that thing. But, you know, the mind of a racer, I'm always thinking about what's next, what happens when I do better, right? Like, how can I do better? And pretty much every spot that I was going to gain in this is going to make my starting position for the main better. So I was really hungry to try to get as many as I can. I knew after winning the first one, I was going to be in a pretty great position for the main anyway. If I could get back on the podium or even win twice, I might even start on the pole for main. And I had probably the easiest group being in C. So, and everybody's like, they're all great drivers in this series. So everybody's figuring the track out at different rates, but like, they're going to pretty much have it figured out by the end of the second heat. It's not crazy to think that everybody's about the same speed towards the end of the day, right? So starting up front would be a huge help if some of the better guys can get pinned back behind some other carts while I start up front, that would make my time so much easier in the final. But um, I see two more carts in front of me, and these carts I'm just trying so hard to get by. I, I'm so hungry to try to get those spots, because now I'm thinking pole, like win, maybe even? Uh, that guy spins out in front of me, locks up the brakes a little bit. I give him a little tap, but keep going. Luckily, I didn't get penalized or anything for that. They slowed it down so he could back out and get back to racing, which is fine. But um, now I'm in third place, back on the podium. And that guy in the pink helmet, we just like caught up to him so quickly. I'm thinking I'm probably going to have a shot to get by him too. So uh, I don't even know where first place is at this point. So I'm kind of thinking either purple helmet is first place or first place is gone. I'm not even worried about him. I'm only worried about that person right in front. I didn't know exactly how many laps were left, but I knew it couldn't be too, too many because we had been on track for a while. Um, it was only going to be a 10 minute race, so that only ended up being like exactly 10 laps during the last heat. So I figured it was going to be about that, but I wasn't keeping great track while I was racing. I was focused on racing, but I knew that I would have to try to track him down pretty quickly, run maybe a whole second faster, maybe a second and a half faster than him. But I was still able to just kind of stay calm and put down some good laps despite the pressure from behind as you saw when I looked over my shoulder and knowing that I need to put down good laps to catch the guy in front of me. I, I did fine. I stayed poised and that was impressing for myself. I, I liked seeing that because I was, I'm normally very in my own head when I race. I, uh, I can't just chill out. So, uh, when I was able to stay calm and just execute here, it was very, very satisfying. And I've already cut probably a second off of the time in that one lap. And um, by the time we come out of this corner here, I think he gets a peek at me at some point because he starts going a little bit more defensive than he had been, which in my opinion was probably a mistake. He uh, didn't really need to get defensive until I was right there, especially in such a short race. You want to try to hold that gap for as long as you can. But um, you can see in his uh, his little brake light there, he's braking a lot going into these corners, and that's just not really necessary on this track. So I think it literally was just all defensive braking, and um, it was honestly a little bit frustrating coming out of this corner, descending onto the final turn. I was right on his bumper and I was pretty much tapping his bumper coming out of every turn because he was just braking so early and then like sometimes even braking on exit of turn which just didn't make any sense to me. <laughs> um, I was expecting to try to go to his outside in this turn, I expected him to park it on the apex. He parked it like a cart length and a half in front of the apex so I ran right into him, my hand slipped off the wheel which kind of hurt my thumb. I just, I didn't really know what to make of that. And then he did the same thing in that corner. He's braking two cart lengths before where you actually need to brake and just holding it down the whole time. And um, there's really not much I can do about that because it's not like I can just decide to go to the outside. Like I'm still not gonna be able to have the run if I just go to the outside. 
So I just kind of kept running right into the back of him. Like, I wasn't going to push him out of the way and take the spot that way, but I was kind of just reserved to showing that I was a little displeased at this point. Uh, they slowed us down because we jammed up, got people wrecked behind us because of that. And, um, and then he did the same thing, jamming up on the brakes. But he had such a big gap after getting turned down and back up that it didn't matter. I didn't have a shot. That was the end of the race. Shook my head, a little disappointed, but that's how it goes sometimes. Still a great finish and a great result for what could have been a uh, much worse race. So I was still happy with where I was, and it put me in third to start a main which is a lot to be proud of anyway leave a like leave a comment all that fun stuff i love you guys i'll see you in the next one soon hopefully sooner than this one came out